Hi everyone, it's Don, and I have some follow-up to the Carnival Legend incident that happened this week that just got off in Melbourne, Australia uh, on Saturday. And there's a lot of misnomers going around of what cruise lines are allowed to do and what captains can do and things like that. So I contacted a maritime law lawyer and found out some interesting things. So let's go over some of those things right after this. First off, a quick recap, a family got on board the Carnival Legend on a 10-day Australian cruise. They apparently started causing trouble and confrontations and things like that that eventually escalated into a full-blown brawl between passengers and security and cruise staff and things like that. A lot of things were seen uh, in the news. You can see passengers being escorted off. The entire family was removed from the ship. They made a special stop to do it. And all this over a thong. And yes, when I say thong, I mean the Australian version of a thong, which is, of course, sandal footwear, that kind of thing, not a bathing suit. It's hard to step on somebody's bathing suit without stepping on them. So let's be clear on that point. But there are scenes where the, the crew are seen kicking passengers who are on the ground. There are filming of passengers having the camera attempted to be slapped uh, out of their hands while trying to film the brawl and lots and lots of reports of security going around, taking people's phones and deleting pictures that were on there. And a lot of people and a lot of comments are under the misnomer that uh, Captain's Law reigns on ships and uh, I think a lot of that goes back to the you know the way we watch televisions and military history and things like that where yes during you know during wartime a captain says something on the ship you better do it because his word is law and yes but on a civilian ship there still comes in the factors of law captain's words uh, yes he can have you arrested he can have you married he can uh, to get you kicked off the ship, but his word is not law. He still has to be governed by international law and things like that. For instance, a captain can't order you thrown into the middle of the ocean off the ship. That's still murder. So yes, no, captain's laws and cruise line law is not across the board. And as far as taking pictures and confiscating people's cameras are concerned, uh, what I found out from the maritime law lawyer is Yes and no, they can confiscate pictures and things like that. Number one, if you were taking photos in a restricted area, for instance, you took a photo on the bridge or you took a photo in the galley or below decks, those are off limits to public passengers and are off limits to photographs. So yes, they can confiscate your phones for them because you're breaking the rules of regulations on the ship. If you're taking photos of an area on the ship that is public and photos have been taken there before, then they no longer have the right to confiscate your property for those kind of reasons. Uh, if you are taking illegal photos, uh, you know, flashing or something like that, that's a different story that goes under uh, breaking the law, period. But if you were just filming something that happened on the ship, uh, belly flop competitions and stuff like that, they don't have the right to go and take those photos off your camera. The same goes for a brawl and a fight. And the reason for that is stated in the law is because if lawsuits are now taken, for instance, two family members who were kicked off a ship have already indicated that they plan on suing Carnival Cruise Lines and uh, uh, we'll see what happens with that. So it now becomes, were the officers and police, officers, well, the police security on board, um, were they due diligent? Uh, did they cause bodily harm where they didn't need to? Uh, things like that. 
And now those photos become evidence of the case. And you can be charged with tampering with evidence. And if you delete those photos, you could be charged with obstruction of justice on an individual baseline. Chances are the cruise line wouldn't be charged, but the individual security who went around doing that could be charged in those cases. So yes, captain's law reigns supreme, but they still have to are governed by international law and things like that. So you can't just willy-nilly go out and destroy people's property without due cause. And somebody taking a photo of an incident in a public area is not due cause. So we got that clear. According to the maritime law officer, that's not me. That's, that's a lawyer speaking. So already, uh, let's go on with some things that happened with Carnival already. They just got off the ship yesterday. And Carnival has already issued uh, a coupon to all passengers on that sailing saying that they will get a 25% discount on a future cruise. And uh, we'll see what happens uh, with that in the future as far as any other things that might come up. The Carnival Cruise Line has launched an entire internal investigation where they're investigating each individual security that was involved. How come it took so long? Did this actually escalate from much minor issues and they weren't handled? Things along those lines. And they're looking into what happened afterwards, why people's personal property were taken and the reasons behind that. So you may see some charges coming down. You may see some people being fired in the future because we all know the buck rolls downhill. And I don't want to blame Carnival Cruise Line as a whole for this because this could just be a poorly poorly trained staff who got caught up in the moment or they may be really trained very good people and everything but when you're in a brawl and say there's eight security guard and there's 30 family members you can see how you could get overwhelmed and actually might fight a little harder than you should and you could get caught up in that moment. Things like that can escalate. So they're not police officers. They don't go through years and years and years of training. They're security officers. They're like mall security officers. They're shipboard security officers, uh, you know, business security officers. Things like this can happen that they're not prepared for and I don't want to blame them completely. Some of the film looks a little bit too aggressive, uh, but we weren't there to see what led to that. Um, you know, for all we know, there was 30 minutes of fighting before the scene that we see uh, for 30 seconds on the camera phone. So keep that in mind. Carnival will launch an investigation. I pretty much guarantee the Australian police, because it's been on the news and everything down there, will also launch their own investigation and we'll see what happens with charges when those get laid. And I'm curious to see if any security officers get charged with obstruction of justice or tampering with evidence because uh, according to the maritime lawyer, that's exactly what they did once a lawsuit has been claimed. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please leave comments down below. It's a really interesting topic. People are blaming the family. People are blaming the cruise line. It's going to be very interesting to follow going forward. So until next time, everybody, please have yourself a safe and a great vacation.